Hey there, what is it? Welcome to a new video. Uh, I saw that the Season 1 2020 ladder maps were just revealed on Team Liquid today. I saw them a little bit earlier and thought I'd go into them and see what they're all about, kind of have a look at them a little bit. So, but which ones are we getting rid of and which ones do we already have? So, we're keeping Zen, we're keeping Eternal Empire, we're keeping Symbolicum and Nightshade. But we're getting rid of F Moran and World of Sleepers, basically. We're getting rid of a couple of them. So I'm just gonna go into the ones that are kind of new. So Everdream L8 is new. And we're just gonna have a look at it and just see how it's looking and how it's feeling towards everything. So our main bases are here. So you start up a ramp like normal and go down into your expansion. You could take a third here, but that little thing here, you see this little thing here, it looks very... It's like a cut out of the map, I don't know why it's there, it's like a little pond or something. And it's gonna make, like, you can put tanks right here and just, like, shout over towards the, the, base, the bases. So when you take a third here, it's going to be kind of difficult to defend it properly because you can put tank lines here and you can put tank lines here. You can even put tanks here and just literally shout everything across. Um, the ramp here is fine. This best can be taken as a fifth. This would pop either this or this would most likely be a fourth. Um, and then obviously you just expand outwards, um, creep or uh, planetaries or nexus or whatever or whatever it should be. Um, I would need to see and actually I would need to see how big this little thing is here, as it looks kind of like you can just hide a tank line behind it and then have like a very awkward time to actually deal with it. Besides that, it looks like a decent map, pretty nice design. I'd have to see it actually in-game in order to kind of give it a good once over, but I'm just doing a brief overview right now. So, Purity and Industry Outway. This one's new also. Um, this one reminds me of one of the Heart of the Swarm maps. You begin um, here or here or like, it's not even, it's not actually marked that way. I think it's here. Um... You're either on the white side or you're on the black side, I'm assuming, I'm assuming you start here and here. They're like completely facing each other, so yeah, I'm assuming it's there and there. There's a ramp here too. You can ramp off to two different ways. One way is blocked off by rocks, but you can ramp off two different ways. And there's also a place you can float over a base, so this one would be quite heaven favoured. I would imagine if they just float it over and then you can't really touch it till you either get up to a prism, up to a dropper lord, up to mutinous, up to something else, or like a terror, it would probably it would prob probably be easier to defend. Well, this just seems like a cheeky throwaway base that you can just go to and just basically be safe. What these are, I'm not too sure. I'm assuming they slow you down, or something to that to that degree. That's what they look like to me, at least from here. I'd have to actually play the map in order to know for sure. But um, the actual layout of the map, besides that, you start here, you expand here, and then you can have that expand expand downwards and have like one of those super powered gas but only have one of them or you can break the rocks and expand down this way it reminds me of you know the map in the pool right now that has the minerals in between the second and third kind of like that because if you go for the easier third option you lose a little bit of gas timing because you don't have as many gas geysers i know it's a super powered gas but it's still probably not going to be as good as just having a proper third so you'd have to go normal expand break rock expand your third then expand into your fourth wherever you want to um as for these it's exactly the same obviously it's just a different color here there's a gold base right there besides that the, that gold base lo looks very favored towards whoever spawns on the black side there it doesn't look favored towards anybody else and there's no other gold minerals around yeah it looks favored to if you spawn on the black side you'd pro probably be better taking the gold as your third potentially or maybe as a fourth base. Yeah, it looks kind of weird. I don't know. I wouldn't play this one. I would veto it. I'm pretty sure I would. And then we have Golden Ball LE, which is the which is the, uh, the latest new one. So, <clears throat> are we spawning like this? Are we spawning on these two locations right here? Yeah, we are. We're spawning on these two locations right here. Why not do it straight cross map? This is like, ooh, what? This is like a map from, from Heart of the Swarm. They're taking a lot of in, in, they're taking a lot of inspiration from the Heart of the Swarm maps. Um, okay, so 
Let's have a look at what's found. There's like normal expansion. Taking a third race is going to be tricky, man. You have to go down a ramp and back up a ramp just to take a third. Um, fourth base is going to be very difficult. There's not many minimal locations on this map. There's literally four, like okay, five. No, wait, there's like two, three, four, five, six potential or seven potential expansions. But then again, to get to these ones, you're going to have to go down or up across and back down again to get to this one so any kind of drop will kind of will kind of destroy any kind of a chance you have of keeping that base and they can just fly over towards us you can also mine them mine the minerals to get to that base i guess but i don't know this looks like a rush map to me this looks like a map people are going to rush on because it's a short spawn it's a short rush rush distance you go down you go across you go whoop, and then you go straight up into your opponent's base I'm assuming you could get away with some epic one, one or two base Orleans on this map. There doesn't seem to be anything blocking you from it. It looks like a fair, it looks fairly big or fair, but like fairly medium sized maybe. I don't know. Like half of these maps, I have no idea until I actually see them in the game how big they are. This one, if it's small enough, you could get a rush distance really, really fast on it. But besides that, um, the way you expand seems strange. Like you have to go down and up a ramp again. Um, those ones are very difficult to defend half the time because if you get blocked or if you have an army here and your army has to come there that you can literally be force fielded out of your base and it's just like yes having ramps is kind of bad i'd prefer it to all be low ground personally but that's up to blizzard at the end of the day so i don't know i think this one i would have to plan it to let you know how i feel about it but as of this moment I have a feeling it's going to be very, very hard to defend your third and fourth base is what you haven't done. Besides that, the rest of the map pool we already have here, so we got rid of a couple of maps. The one map that I wanted to go away is still here, which is um No not that one. I think it's actually gone. Never mind. I think the one that I actually wanted to go away is that has actually gone, which is a bonus. You know, the one with the minerals in the middle. I really hated that one. So, look, it took you a little bit longer to get a third and to saturate your third a little bit longer. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. These are just my thoughts. I'm not a programmer. I'm not anything like that. I'm just a diamond player who's just examining maps and telling you my opinions. And if you like them, if you don't like them, let me know in the comments down below. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day.